All right, and let's move on to page 31, which would be uh, the 2-4 reteach. And I want to go through one of these. I'm going to take the first of the two of them. They're a little different than the first page. And what we're trying to get here is to remember the difference between true statements and false statements as far as algebra equations go. So three, negative 3x three plus 9 equals 4x plus 9 minus 7x. Now once in a while, strange things happen when you do algebra. Let's not worry about the strange thing yet. Let's just get right in and try to get the x's on one side, the numbers on the other, and see what we get. So let's see. I'm going to, I like to take all of my variables from the right to the left. So I'm going to move my negative 4x over there. So this now becomes negative 7x plus 9 equals... Oh, I have a 7x I can move too. Let's do that next. 9 minus 7x. All right, now I'm going to add 7x to both sides. Hmm. So negative 7x plus 7x is 0 plus 9. That's 0. Wait a minute. I've got 9 equals 9. Now, if you think back, you should remember that if you get something that is a true statement, 9 equals 9, or 5 equals 5, or 0 equals 0, a true statement, that means that whatever I come up with, the solution, the solution is all real numbers. That means any number I substitute for x is going to work in this problem. If you don't believe that, let's go ahead and just pick a number and try it. Let's take the number 4. So negative 3 times 4 plus 9. Is that equal to 4 times 4 plus 9 minus 7 times 4? Now where did 4 come from? I just picked it as part of my check. I'm randomly trying a number out. So this gives me negative 12 plus 9, which is a negative 3. Over here, I've got 16 plus 9 minus 28. Uh, that's going to give me a 25. Minus 28 is negative 3. Checks out. And I can check that for x is equal to 3, 7, 10, pi, uh, 32, uh, any number I try, because when I solve the equation originally, I got a true statement. So again, that would mean that my solution is all the real numbers. Now in contrast, if I had worked out and gotten a false statement, for example, I got 6 equals negative 10, that would mean that I was looking at a situation where no value of x will make it true. And my solution in that case would be no numbers work, or the empty set. So kind of remember, true statements all real numbers, false statements, meaning something that can't be, 3 equals 5, then you would say there are no solutions.